Okay, today we're going to talk about se section 7.2, scientific notation. Well, what is scientific notation? Well, it is used to represent extremely large or small numbers in the form a times 10 to the n power. And a has to be a number basically between 1 and 9. So uh, you're going to have something maybe like uh, 1.5 or, or uh, 2.3. But the first number, it's always going to be before the decimal, has to be a number between 1 and less than 10. So it has to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then afterwards, you can have whatever. You can have 5, 6 times 10 to the fourth or whatever it is. But that number here before the decimal has to be fitting this. It has to be greater than or equal to 1, but less than 10. And our number n is basically going to be the number of places that we move left or right to get to a. So with the positive number here, with n being positive, we're going to move our decimal to the right to get our final number. So if we do have that 2.56 times 10 to the fourth, what we're going to do is we're going to write out 2560000. Zero, 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 zero. And so we have that initially. And the positive 4 means we're going to move right 4. 1, 2, 3, Four, and so that real number is two five six zero zero, and so that's actually uh, what two point five six times ten to the fourth represents. That's the actual number, and this is in scientific notation. Now, if n is negative, we're going to move the decimal to the left to get the final number. So, say if we had one point two seven eight times ten to the negative six. This time, we're going to have to write some numbers on the front of it. So let's write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 7, 8. So this is our initial number, 1.278 times 10 to the minus 6. So now we move it to this left six places, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so our answer is actually 0 0.1234. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, seven, eight. And so that's the actual number that this represents in scientific notation. Okay. And so the bigger the numbers here, the four or the negative six, the bigger they are, the more places we either have in front of our 1.278 or the more zeros we have on the back end, depending on if we have a positive or a negative. All right. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to do some examples where we're moving the decimal left and right, and then we'll also go from an actual number and we'll go to a scientific notation. So let's say we have 1.78 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, well, we saw that we're going to write 1.78, and then we're going to write a bunch of zeros to the right because it's a positive, so we're going to move it to the right. So we move it right five spaces. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So our actual number is 178123, 178,000. All right. What if we had 2.49 times 10 to the minus six? Uh, let's do so. I don't know. How about minus nine? All right. So we're going to have to write a bunch of zeros in the front. And then our 2.49. And what we're going to do is move left nine spaces. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so then our answer is zero point, and then we'll have, should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, four, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so that's what we have there. Now let's say we have a number to start with. Uh, and so let's say we have, oh, I don't know, um, uh, oops, uh, let's say we have oh, four, five, seven, eight, zero, 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 and we want to go to scientific notation. So that's where our decimal point is here, and we need to get it to that point here because we have to have a number between one and nine, somewhere one and nine in here. So we have to move it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So what we're going to end up with is 4.578 times 10. And we have to move it eight spaces to the right to get back to this number. So it's going to be a positive eight. Okay. Because we have to get back to here. We're going to move it positive numbers. What if we had something like, oh, 0 0.12.
something like that. So point zero 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 two three four nine. Well, we know that it's going to end up being a decimal at that point right there is where we need it to get the between one and nine. So that's two point three four nine times ten. Now we know when we get done, we're going to have to go left, so that's going to be a negative. And how many spaces do we have to move it? We have to move it one, two, three, four, five, six six spaces. So that would be times 10 to the minus 6. Now we could do this all day and again all it does is you know positive numbers moves it right that many spaces, negative numbers moves it left that many spaces. And then if we have a big number then we just have to figure out okay well it's going to become now 4.578 and then we have to times 10 to what? And then we start and we go however many spaces it was and if we have to move it back right to get a positive number, we have the positive. And if we have to go and move it to the left, then we'll have the negative number. All right. So what happens if we want to multiply or divide numbers in scientific notation? Well, what we need to do is rewrite the factors by multiplying or dividing, depending on which one we're doing. We're going to multiply the two A values together. So again, if we're going back to this, we're going to multiply the A values together. And then we're going to multiply the 10 to the N powers together. Now we're going to use the product or quotient rule of exponents to deal with our 10 to the n. So those things we learned in section 7.1, we're going to use those to be able to deal with the 10 to the n. And then we're going to be sure to write our final result in proper scientific notation. And the key there is we have to have our a again between 1 and then the 9. It's the biggest we can have in that position times 10 to whatever power. Okay. So let's do some examples here. Um, how about we do, uh, let's say we have 1. Uh, let's take 5.26 times 10 to the minus 5 times 3.16 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay. So what we're going to do is what, what we kind of said. We're going to take the A part and take that times that and have that piece together. So we're going to multiply those. And then we're going to take that part and that part, which are the... 10 to the n power, and we're going to multiply those. So we're going to have 5.26 times 3.16, then we'll have times 10 to the negative 5, and then that's going to be times 10 to the negative 2. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to plug in our calculator 5.26 times 3.16, so 5.26 times. 3.16, and that's going to be 16.6216 times, and now 10. Well, when we multiply these, we add the power, so that's going to be 10 to the minus 7. And so now we have our number, but it's not in scientific notation because we have 16 out here. That's greater than 10, so we don't want to have that. So we're going to have to move our decimal one place that way. And when we move it one place that way, we're going to have to add 1 to this. So this really becomes 1.66216 times 10 to the minus 7 plus 1 because we have to, we're going to end up moving it to the right when we do that. And so that equals 1.66216 times 10 to the minus 6. Okay, and so that's what we get for that example. Now what I'm going to do is try to share my screen with a calculator and hopefully this is showing up for you. And we can also do this on a calculator. All right, so first off, what we'll need to do is we'll need to get to the mode. And we're going to want to go to scientific. And so we'll move over to scientific. And then we don't care how many you know decimals. We're going to just have a floating decimal. So then we can go ahead and get out of that. So now we should be in scientific mode. Now we're just going to take 5.26. Now to get times 10, that's going to be this EE -E button. So that's 5.26 times 10, and now to the negative 5. And we're going to multiply that by 3.16 times 10. And now we have to the negative 2. And now if we hit Enter, we should get the same value we have here, 1.66216 times 10 to the minus 6, which is what we see. All right, so that's, we can do it longhand by, you know, just 
multiplying these two by ourselves, getting that number, multiplying the two 10 to the n powers, basically adding their exponents, and then after that move left or right, depending on where we're at, and add or subtract from our power of n to get to our final thing, and we can also do it in our calculator. All right, so now let's go back and do uh, some more examples. What if we do one where we have a division? So I'm just gonna go to a new clean page. So for this one, let's say we have uh, 4.9 times 10 to the first divided by 2.7 times 10 to the minus three, okay? Well, what do we have? Well, we're gonna do the pieces again. So we're gonna have this piece and then we're gonna have this piece. So we'll take 4.9 divided by 2.7, and then it's gonna be times 10 to the, well, now we're gonna take the numerator one, subtract the denominator, which is a minus three, and so then we get 4.9, which is the numerator divided by 2.7, and so we get 1.814814814, so this repeats basically. And so we'll just, we'll stop at that point there. Then on the homework, hopefully they'll tell you how many decimal places they want or, or how, how they want that. And then times 10 to the positive four because minus and minus is gonna be plus. So one plus three is gonna be four. Now this is in scientific notation because we have a one there. So that looks good. So now if we wanted to see how this works with our calculator, what we'll do is we'll take 4.9 times 10 to the first divided by 2.7 times 10 to the negative three. And again, you have to use this negative down here and then enter. And then we must not have it completely in scientific notation. Does it switch out every time? Uh, must switch out every time. So in your calculator, once you put it here, then it's gonna automatically uh, go into it automatically every time. So now if we hit enter again, now we get it 1.8 times 10 to the fourth. And so that's what you should see. All right, let's do another one. All right, so if we move this, so let's say we take and we're gonna do a square instead. So let's say we have 5.5 .5 times 10 to the minus five, and we're gonna square that. Well, if we need to, we can rewrite that as 5.5 .5 times 10 to the minus five times 5.5 .5 times 10 to the minus five. And so then that's gonna be 5.5 .5 times 5.5 .5 times 10 to the minus five times 10 to the minus five. Well, 5.5 .5 times 5.5 .5 is going to give us 30.25 times 10. Now minus five plus a minus five is a minus 10. Now we need, need to move this over here because we need to have that one there. So if we do that, we're gonna have to have now 3.025 times 10 to the minus 10 plus one, because to get back to this position, we have to add one. And so that's gonna give us 3.025 times 10 to the minus nine, okay? Now again, if we do this in your calculator, what we have, I'm going to put parentheses and then I'm gonna pot 5.5 times 10 to the negative five parentheses. And then you can either hit the squared button here or uh, the exponent two. So if we just use the squared, since we have a two only, so we get 3.025 times 10 to the negative nine, 3.025 times 10 to the negative nine. So works both ways. It's really nice. And if you have a calculator that can do the uh, uh, scientific notation, it's even better. All right, let's look at some more here. Um, how about, uh, we're on number four, I believe. So how about 8.03 times 10 to the fourth raised to the power negative four. All right. 
Well, what we can think about is, is when we did exponents, we can take and take that to that power. We can take that to that power. So what we have is 8.03 to the negative four, then times 10 to the four times negative four. So it's negative 16. So now we just have to do this here. And if we do that in our calculator, 8.03 raised to the negative four, that gives me 2.4, oops, 4.05. Oh, uh, I just better erase here. There we go. 2.40512 and so on times 10 to the minus 4 times, and we still have our 10 to the minus 16. Okay. So our number part's okay, because we have a two point blah, blah, blah. So now we just have to worry about multiplying those two together. So that's going to be 2.405. Let's say we only want it to three decimal places times 10. Now we have a minus four times a, minus, times a 10 to the minus 16. So they're just going to add those two numbers together. So that's going to be to the minus 20. All right. So that should be our answer. So now let's check in. Uh, the calculator. So if we plug our calculator in here, what we have is we're going to do 8.03 times 10 to the fourth parenthesis. Now we're going to raise that to the negative 4. And if we hit enter, we get 2.405 times 10 to the minus 20 which is what we found doing it by hand here. The only thing we actually did was we plugged that in our calculator to get the, this here. We could have taken 8.03 times 8.03 by hand and we could have got the same thing, but that's what we have. All right, so let's look at a different one. Let's do another division. So let's say we have 7.4 times 10 to the fourth divided by 1.7 times 10 to the negative four, all right? Well, we're again gonna do this part and we're gonna do this part. So 7.4 divided by 1.7 times 10. Now it's gonna be four minus a minus four. And so then we just have to take 7.4 divided by the 1.7 and that gives us 4.35294 four, one, six, and uh, seven, six, and so on. But we'll just stop at that point. And then times 10 to the four minus a minus four, that's gonna be four plus four, which is eight. And at that point, we should be done because we have a number between one and nine here, and then our decimal places, and then we have our exponent here is good. So now again, let's check with our calculator. So we have, uh, let's put parentheses, seven point, four times 10 to the positive four divided by parentheses 1.7 times 10 to the negative four in parentheses. Now we have one thing divided by the other thing and we should get our thing we found for our answer here, 4.35294116 times 10 to the eighth, which is what we have. And again, it all depends on how many decimal places they ask you to put in your answers, how many you'll put, put in your actual answer here as well. All right, um, now we can just do a couple more. And I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll go ahead and do them again, you know, long way as well as the short way. And, you know, the short way being the calculator. That way, if you don't have a calculator, we can still show you how to get this done. So then we divide it by seven times 10 to the minus two. So again, we're gonna work with this piece and then we'll work with this piece. So 8.4 divided by seven times 10 to the five minus a minus two, because we're just gonna take that minus this. And 8.4 divided by seven is 1.2, which I should have known if I just would have thought about it, times 10 to the five plus two, which is seven. And so that would be our answer. Now, short way. 
we have 8.4, well, let's go ahead and put our parentheses in here. Parentheses, 8.4 times 10 to the fifth divided by seven, oops, yeah, okay, times 10 to the negative two, parentheses, enter 1.2 times 10 to the seventh, and that's what we got here as well. All right, so let's do one last one, and then I think hopefully that'll be uh, enough for getting you on track for doing uh, your assignment here. Um, and, and again, you know, you're either going to be m uh, multiplying two things together or dividing two things, so let's do another divide because those are usually the ones uh, seems like most people get confused the most for some reason. And so let's take this divided by 1.14 times 10 to the minus 3. So we're going to take the part here, that division, and then we'll take and do those powers. So 9.58 divided by 1.14 times 10 to the minus 2 minus a minus 3. Well, 9.58 divided by 1.14, that gives us um, 8.4035, we'll leave it at that, four decimals, times 10. Here we have a minus 2 plus 3, so that's to the first. And so we could leave it as that, actually, but um, you know, we don't have to have that one there, we can leave it there. And, and that will be fine. So let's look what we get with the calculator. Hopefully it's the same thing. Nine point, oops, parenthesis, 9.58 times 10 to the negative two divided by, now we have 1.14 times 10 to the negative three, parenthesis. And it looks like we have that correct. So now if we enter, 8.43 da, 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 times 10 to the first, which is 8.403 times 10 to the first, okay? So that's what we get for our answer. All right, so that's everything from 7.2. Hopefully that'll get you uh, going for the exercises in MOM.